Hello everyone. This is the question asked in Gate 2020 Civil Engineering Set 1. The total expenditure of a family on different activities in a month is shown in the pie chart. The extra money spent on education as compared to transport in percentage is. So we have been given with a pie chart with all the different expenditures on different activities of a family per month and we have to determine the extra money that is spent on education as compared to transport. So these are the two figures that we have to keep in mind. So to solve this question, let's have a look at the useful data. So whenever we have to compare two quantities and we have to determine by how much one quantity x is greater than the other quantity y, then we can simply take the difference of those quantities or if we want to calculate it in percentage wise then we have to find the actual increase in the percentage of that quantity divided by the original quantity times 100. So let's use this concept and so try to solve the question. So we have to basically compare the extra money that is spent on education as compared to transport. So here we can see that a total of 15% of the total expenditure has been spent on education and a total of 10% of the total expenditure has been spent on transport. Now to determine the extra money that is spent on education all we need to do is take the difference of these of these two quantities to the original quantity that is transport times 100 and this would give me 50%. So 50% is the extra money that is spent on education as compared to transport. And if we try to look at these figures in terms of numbers, like suppose that the family has, the, if we take the number as 100, then a total of 15 units is spent on education and 10 units is spent on transport. Then if we compare these two numbers, then we can see that there is a rise of 5 units in education and as compared to transport, it is 50%. So we can take these quantities as numbers also if we want to simplify or try to solve the problem. So we can take these quantities as numbers to simplify our understanding of the problem and hence the answer matches with option C. So option C50 is the right answer. Thank you.